Hello. I've had a bad day. <clears throat> and not much sleep because I'm working on the most boring project of all time. But, you know, here, this happens a lot in your uh, converting the annual sheets to, uh, or the monthly sheets to annual sheets. You get these, you want to use the match and the index or the sum if, and then you get some blanks. And in the blanks, there's a, uh, you want to uh, delete the, you want to delete the item just for the ones where if you go to the right, there's a blank and you go to the left, there's a blank. So what we're going to do is essentially make a macro that just works down the rows and tests this and if it's if you don't get to the end when you go shift control when you press shift control right and shift control left you don't do anything but if you do you just clear the sheet so let's try that so let's first record a macro that basically goes this is macro 8 we go to the left and we go to the right and uh, let's go down here and do the same thing we go to the right and we go to the left okay and uh, let's put it back here let's see what happened when we recorded that video okay um, we we just go selection to the ends and uh, uh, what we have to do is once we get to the end see what cell what what row number we are so let's put column number equal um, that selection dot column that might be the hardest thing to do let's make sure that works okay and if this is going to take a really long time I won't I won't I'll, whatever I might delete the video so let's r run this macro just see if that worked and it worked okay so we you the rule is you'd have to be on this I, I hope this is T is strong we have to uh, start with the beyond that selection okay and then um we'll we'll okay then let's go for row equal one two how about a thousand we could even put that in as as a next row now if we wanted to just delete the selection we'd put cells dot row cells row comma call number dot um we could put clear Let's try, let's try clear contents. Okay. With that, if that doesn't work, we might have to put a, a, a little single quote in there. Okay. Now, once we go down to the, the only way we're going to do that is we'll first, how about cells, row, call, call number dot select and then we'll go move to the left and when we move to the left ok 
Okay. Uh, no. If the cells or if uh, selection dot column uh, not equal one, then go to skip. Okay. And then we'll go to the right. Uh, if the uh, okay. And how about we'll how about if it's greater than what is the hold on? I mean, it goes to sixteen thousand. So if selection dot column is greater than sixteen thousand, more than sixteen thousand. If it's less than sixteen thousand, then go to skip. So if it's so if a selection is greater than one, then we go to skip. And then we, we don't clear the contents. SKIP. Okay. And the first thing to do as normal with any of these kind of things is you uh, save the file. Okay. And the next thing you do is... This is the tribal impacts of the running of a hydro facility, a controversial hydro facility that was built in near the Grand Canyon where they flooded the whole thing. It would have been now people just go water skiing on it. <laughs> it would have been a beautiful canyon to do some kind of silly analysis on this. Uh, and now why don't we just try to run this macro? Go to this one that says remove black. And it didn't work. Well, oops. And what's happening to me? Just a minute. So, um, let me fix it. But it's, it's going to be, I think the idea is, is going to be okay. If we can get this to work a lot. Now, I, I, what I tried to do is put these kind of macros in uh, in, uh, in the macro section, but I'm going to uh, not. Shh, I'm making a video. So let's try this. So now this one, here's uh, here's what I did wrong. I put uh, you had to go once you go back to the right, you have to press it twice. I, it, this one just takes you to the right, and then you can skip skip, and then just press uh, clear contents. And uh, trying to think how you would do this row by row, but don't. I'm not going to think about that, right? So I'm just going to run. Uh, oh, come on. If I run it now, it uh, should be running. Oh, come on. It's. Well, that's the macro. Ah, shit. So it did work, and and you know if you want to see this, let's just review this uh, macro again. Uh, this is because it's a large sheet. I probably should have turned the calculation off or something, and I'm going to figure out how to put it in a uh, do it a little better. But this is our remove blank. We just start. The good thing is you can just get the row and the column from a selection. I suppose it could be active cell here too. And I turn the screen updating false. That was kind of so we don't have to wait around this. We could do it here now. What I tried to do is exit the sub once you hit a hit a hit a, a blank cell. And I'm gonna I have to work on that a little more. I guess you could figure this out. 
and then if you go to the left and you hit a one then you skip around if you go to the right you go back to the original cell go to the right again and then you're at the end then you just clear the contents out okay and uh, um, you could do the ki kind of thing if you just uh, put a whole bunch of variants on this you could uh, uh, de delete a whole bunch of uh, columns if you just want to go back to one and it's blank for the first part if you want to just go to the right and that's blank at the end so you can uh, do various things and then you could uh, go across columns instead of just starting in one column so i'm going to end this video and it's not a very good one i'll get some of those silly stupid thumbs down things on this one i'm sure <laughs>